Hi, um, this is Ethan from TMI Tech. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate your AIP module um, to do a communication setup with our Bbox One. First, I'm going to introduce the AIP setup here. So please zoom in. So here you can see there are four AIP unit module in the central part. As we described in our report, there are only one AIP module is working. Let me point out that's this one. So the surface temperature is gonna be high, so be careful, don't touch on the surface. And there are two fans um, sit aside the PCB board to help to remove the heat. So now the connection is like we showed here. This is the, the signal cable and that's control a LAN cable uh, connected to PC. This is power. So as you can see from the rear, rear side here, here's the blue LED to indicate this is a signal um, box. We create this OCXO box to provide the necessary um, local oscillator into the module. So that's basically the hardware set up here. In the another end, this is our, our B box we use as a, a receiver. So the setup is just like in my training video shows. This is the signal cable, power cable, and control cable. So the control cable will be connected to another PC for signal controlling. Okay, so here basically um, the T trans, uh, transmitter side and receiver side. Let's look into the intermediate frequency. We check out this is UD box. So um, um, this is baseband. We also use the same USRP as I showed you in the training video. Here is TX signal. We transmit to the module into uh, the AIP here. So the signal will be transmitted from here to here. And in receiver side, the receiver signal will be sent into the up-down conversion. So in down convert the signal to two gigahertz, that's the intermediate frequency. So then get the signal back into baseband. So we have a closed loop here. All right, so um, here's pretty much about um, the hardware setup. Let's check out the software and the control and the demodulation results. So we look into the B-Box control and the AIP control separately. This PC connect to uh, AIP module with the blue Ethernet cable. So here is uh, the user interface. We config the AIP module in TX mode. So that's how it transmits signals. And we keep the beam direction in, in both sides. So that's zero degree. Okay. So let's move on to the B box side. This is the B box control interface. We config the B box into our receiver mode. That's RX mode. Okay. So we also keep the beam direction to zero degree. So that's how they can align to each other. This the result comes from USRP. As you can observe here, this is TX and this is RX. We receive the power like um, minus 80 dBm around that level. Just like we showed you in our testing report, the QPSK and the modulation scheme uh, number one will be can be um, demodulated successfully. But as you can see, there are some um, noise has been embedded in the signal. So you can see this flash is just getting fat and a thing and fat and thing go back and forth so basically that's uh, the, the live demo of this uh, setup so for more detail please refer to the testing report thank you